This video is on solving percent problems by setting up an equation. To be able to use an equation, you have to remember a few key words. Is always translates to the equal sign. Of is going to be multiplication. What or what number will translate to your variable. So what is 11% of 62 will translate out for us as W for the what, we don't know what it is, is is my equal, 11% needs to be written as a decimal to change a percent to a decimal, move that decimal point two places to the left, so it is equal to 0.11 of is multiplication 62. So all this problem is asking us to do to find W is just to multiply the 0.11 times 62. Here's the arithmetic already worked out. Remember you're talking about multiplying decimals. When you're multiplying decimals, you must count the number of decimal places in the problem and have that same number of decimal places in your answer. So W equals 6.82. That means that 6.82 is 11% of 62. Another example, what number is 20% of 125? What number is the same as just saying what? That's the W. Is is the equal. 20%, move that decimal point two places to the left, and you actually get 0.20, but you don't have to write the zero at the end, so 0.2. Of means multiply, 125. Since W is already by itself over here, there's no solving to this. It's just a matter of setting up and multiplying. We're multiplying decimals again. So 0.2 times 125 actually gives us 250, but there's one decimal point in the problem. There should be one decimal point, one decimal place in my answer. If you are using a calculator, this is just a matter of entering 0.2 times 125, and the decimals are taken care of for you. Third example is the same kind of setup. It's just the sentence structure that has been varied a little bit. It begins with 47% which is the decimal 0.47 of is times 400 is what number? So all this did was move our variable over to the right side, which is okay because it's alone. We need to do the arithmetic 0.47 times 400, which is right here. Two lines of multiplication. There were two decimal places in the problem. Therefore, I have my two decimal places and then the decimal point for the answer. So W equals 188. In this next type, you'll notice that the what has changed positions. We can still translate by using an equation. 14 is, that's my equal, what percent, there's your W, of, still means times, 28. The difference now is that we actually have an equation to solve. This is a one-step equation, so undo this by, by dividing both sides by 28. On the right side, the 28's cancel, giving you W all by itself, which is what we want. 14 over 28, if you're using a calculator, you can just divide directly. 14 divided by 28 gives you the decimal 0.5. But that's the decimal 0.5. We want the percent. To change that decimal to a percent, move your decimal point two places to the right, add a zero in that little wave, which gives us 50% as our answer. And we do need a percent sign on the answer because you're being asked for what percent. If you're not using a calculator and you have to do this by hand, I would suggest you reduce the fraction. 14 over 28 reduces to 1 half. You might recognize that 1 half is the decimal 0.5 and therefore is 50%. But if you have a fraction that you don't recognize, you need to divide it out. Extend your line, put a curve here, which automatically puts the two on the outside, bring the one down inside, add a decimal point and a couple of zeros, and then begin your division. Two into 10 goes five. Five times two is 10. We're finished with our division. There's our decimal point five that you would have gotten had you used the calculator. Same idea, but the sentence structure is just a little different, so let's translate it out. What percent W of 16, so times 16, is 4? We still get a one-step equation that needs to be solved by doing the opposite, dividing by 16. 
16's cancel over on this side, giving us the variable alone. 4 over 16 reduces to 1 fourth. Now, if you're using a calculator straight from here, 4 divided by 16 gives us the decimal, 0.25. That's a decimal. Remember to change it to a percent by moving that decimal point two places to the right. So this equals 25%. However, if you're not using a calculator, you're going to have to change this 1 fourth to a decimal. Extend your line, put your curve, keeps the 4 automatically on the outside, brings your 1 down, decimal point, two zeros. You're dividing by a whole number, no reason to worry about any decimal points. You brought that point right up, begin dividing. 4 into 10 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract and get 2, bring down a 0, 4 into 20 is 5, completes our division, and there's our 0.25, which gives us 25%. That means that 4 is 25% of 16. Third type, notice the what has changed positions again, but we can still translate this. 34 is, is my equal, 2%, remember move the decimal point two places to the left, which actually gives me 0 0.02, of is times what number? So again, we have a single equation to solve, one step, divide both sides by 0.02, So what we need to do is set up our division here of 0.02 divided into 34. Now this time we are dividing by a decimal. And when you divide by a decimal, the first thing you have to do is move that decimal point out of the way. Move that out two places to the right. So take the decimal point, which is right there, and move it two places to the right. And each of those little waves add a zero. Put your decimal point up here and divide. Two goes into three once with a 2, subtract and get 14, 2 into 14 goes 7, which completes your division. However, we need these placeholder zeros, so our answer is 1700. If you did this by calculator, just type in 34 divided by 0.02 and you're given 1700. That is not 1700 percent. There is already a percent in the problem. This is just a plain old number. Another example of that type, 280, so translate 280 is, that's my equal sign, 140 percent, it's okay for percents to be greater than 100, move your decimal over two places to the left, gives us the decimal 1.40, but really I just need the 1.4, of what number? One step equation, undo by dividing both sides by 1.4. If you've got a calculator, 280 divided by 1.4, you divide it out and you're finished. If you're not using a calculator, you need to do this division right here, like we just did a second ago. That's a decimal that needs to move one place out to the right. So take that decimal, move it out one place to the right and on up. Put a, wave, put a zero in the wave. 14 into 28 is 2. 2 times 14 is 28. We're finished dividing. However, we do need those placeholder zeros right here. So, 280 is 140 percent of 200. So there are your three types of percent problems that can be solved with equations and they just translate directly using those keywords of is and of and the W for the what.